You heard me mention earlier good news, at least from one side of the coalition, that they will oppose the National Party, the Indigenous voice of the parliament. Uh, the speech from Jacinta Price today, a brilliant evisceration of the whole Indigenous voice push. Uh, joining me now, one of her colleagues, Federal MP for Hinkler, Keith Pitt, and Sky News host, Gary Hargrave. Keith, clearly you took a decision in the party room today. No one really saw that coming. Um, you're showing the Liberals the way, I suspect, on this matter. I hope they uh, muscle up and end up where you are sooner rather than later. Oh, no, Keith. Gary, do you want to see the Liberal Party move this way? The Queensland LNP moved a motion opposing the voice. Yeah. Well, they did, and of course, the parliamentary party should make its own decisions, but they're advised uh, by, by the, the rank and file. The Liberal National Party uh, had their state council over the weekend, Peter, and as I understand it, uh, as an organisation trying to bring people together, Queenslanders together, they also see the voice as a divisive thing, uh, and anybody with any sense understands that. Peter Dutton's taken plenty of soundings over the last six months. I know he, right from the very get-go when you first interviewed him, has been resisting a view on it purely because he wanted to see what the legislation was likely to be. We know what it is now. It's a divisive device, trying to divide people up based on their race and based on their circumstances, uh, built around that race. Uh, look, it, it's wrong. It's anti-Australian. It's wrong and it's got to stop. And it's reasonable now we've got to unite Australians, not divide them up. That's the Labor way. That shouldn't be the Liberal way. It's simple as that. Keith, we've got you now. Uh, not many people saw you taking that decision yeah. you did today and announcing it so quickly. Um, congratulations on the move. Oh, Peter, if I had my way, we would have done it weeks ago. <laughs> but, you know, uh, we've come to a decision <laughs> in the Nationals party room. Uh, and how good is Jacinta Price? But it, it's really, it's this easy. We, we are one people. We are one country under one flag. We are all equal. It doesn't matter whether you have a cultural connection, whether you can go back to the first fleet, whether you're born down the road, whether you, you know, took the oath last week. Uh, all Australians are equal and that should be always the position that we fight for as Liberals and Nationals. Yeah, we yeah. are the parties of freedom and liberty. Yeah, yeah. You're a long-term lib. Gary, give me your take on what happened uh, Saturday night in Victoria. Well, look, Peter, the last thing a Queenslander can ever do is to tell a Victorian, well, you can't tell them much. I think that's the joke we often use up here. But, look, uh, Peter, the problem for they the Liberal Party right around Australia is it's forgotten... Yeah, yeah, well, the problem with the Liberal Party right around Australia uh, is that it's forgotten that uh, people brought them to the dance and they're now going off and attracted to somebody else. You know, trying to attract votes, Peter, from people that are never going to vote for you is just not going to work. And a lot of long-term Liberal voters, and I'm talking the 40-plus-year-olds, not the, not the people, the 25-year-olds everyone seems to think that we should be trying to attract... Uh, you know, there's a lot of people are saying, well, hang on, what's happened to the Liberal Party? It's got no definition, no defining core values anymore. So, you know, everyone wants the Messiah moment. And poor old Matthew Guy is the latest one to be shot down in flames. But Messiahs are not going to deliver this. It's simply going to be returning to what got the party where it was, dealing with the forgotten people, standing up for individual freedom, standing up for reward for effort. That deep philosophical underpinning is what's desperately needed. And I'm, I'm optimistic my long-term friend Peter Dutton has the capacity to do it. It just makes sure everybody in his party room gets behind him and not to stab him in the back. So we just need to get a return to the traditional values that Menzies and others espouse. They are as real today, in fact, frankly, more attractive than they've ever been given this collective socialist rubbish that we're hearing from the other side. Well, Keith, your tribe down here got six seats, retained six, picked up another three, best results since 1943, and you are teeming with women and there's not a quota in sight. Maybe you guys should run a masterclass yeah. down here on what to do right and what to do wrong, <laughs> or what not to do. Oh, well, well congratulations Stand to Peter stuff. Walsh and the Victorian <laughs> Nats. I mean, they, they've taken seats back from independence. Uh, they've they've you know, garnered more well. It's a really good result, but you know, the model's the same, Peter. They're good local candidates. They're part of the local community. They fight for the interests of the people they represent, and that's why they vote for the Nationals. It's been that way for 100 years. You, you know what the party's like at its core. Uh, they're our kind of people. They always fight for what's right, uh, and that's what wins elections. Yep. Gary, take us to the break. This land court decision in Queensland that's putting... A climate change on the table as a deciding factor on whether or not a 
a coal mine goes ahead. Yeah, well, this is what happens when you get activist judges appointed by activist attorney generals in a government that's trying to change society uh, before, you know, our very eyes. And, and some of the nonsense we're going to see with, with wind farms being put right up against national parks up in far north Queensland. Peter, you know, these wind farms, uh, these industrial instruments uh, made out of balsa wood, apparently the blades, but there's all these polymers that just leach rubbish into the grounds. Frogs are going to die, fish are going to be affected, the birds are going to get chopped up. Not very environmental environmentally friendly, but apparently it's in vogue, all of this stuff, and apparently the Liberal Party should just endorse it. No, rubbish. We should come up with something, a stronger alternative, uh, nuclear and or coal, nuclear keeping power. coal going for another generation would make sense to me. Well, coal is a good idea for another generation as we get nuclear, those small Absolutely. modular reactors in place. Not hard to work out in my mind. Good luck, gentlemen. See you next week. Gary Hargraves, Keith Pitt there.